Hi friends, my name is Emily Scott. I am the owner of Bronze Palms in Campbell, California, and I want to give you an intro to touch-up sprays. So we're gonna go over what is in touch-up sprays, um, how you use it, um, and then how to share it with clients um, so that as soon as they take it home, they know exactly how to work it. So this is just our tester touch-up spray. I have tester here. I highly recommend having one of these in your salon um, so that when clients leave with the touch-up spray, you're demoing it first. And I'm gonna show you why. This is how we demo it. So, um, you know, you're going to add the solution um, that you sprayed your client with into the bottle here. I don't like to pre-fill them. Um, I like to just fill and it feels more custom to do it this way as well, um, fill the remainder of the bottle with the solution that you just sprayed with them because this is gonna be the conversation. So um, I'm gonna show you how to use the touch-up spray. Just a reminder, it is the exact solution I spray on you, except it's diluted so you don't turn yourself orange on accident. You both laugh, okay. And then um, this is how you're going to use it. So on clean, fresh and dry skin, you are going to apply the touch-up spray wherever you find your skin needs a little bit more color. Um, the first places that your tan will fade fastest are places like your hands and places like your face because we are like constantly um, sanitizing our hands, washing our hands, and because we're putting a lot of product on your face, even if it's just moisturizer and sunscreen, right? We're constantly washing our face um, and like we're sweating and all that fun stuff. So. Um, on clean, fresh, dry skin, I like to do it at the end of the night um, before I go to bed. You just spray the area and then you can blend it in. Um, you can use a makeup brush, you can use a beauty blender, um, you can use one of those uh, self-tanner mitts, whatever you want. I just use my hands and then make sure you wash your hands right afterwards. If you are applying touch-up spray at night, which is what I recommend, you do not have to worry about it bumping off onto your bed sheets or your towels, um, and it does not need to be rinsed off like a traditional spray tan would because it is a diluted version. However, if you are going to be warming up your face, you wanna add some touch-up spray like before you go out um, for the day or out for the night, um, apply it, um, blend it all in, get it into your hairline, you know, um, and then uh, give it a second to dry. Then you can put your makeup, moisturizer, SPF, all that fun stuff on and your face will can, will tan over the course of the day. I love touch-up sprays because you they are so versatile. You can use them on your hands, you can use them on your face. I take them with me to bachelorette parties to like warm up my legs. Um, I work out a lot, so like places like right around my bra strap um, will start to fade faster than other parts of my body just because of the friction. Um, some of us other sweaty gals, um, we will like start to see a ring right here where the fade the tan fades fastest so you can just spray that area blend it all in go to bed and then um, when you wake up it'll be nice and even here i really hope this video was helpful um, you know i like making all my education quick concise and to the point if you have any questions feel free to send me a message um, you can dm me on instagram you can send us an email bronzepalms at gmail.com um, or you can like throw comments down below and I'm happy to either do a follow-up video or um, message you directly, comment back. Um, super, super recommend getting a tester in your mobile bag or in your um, salon suite salon so that you can demo it to the clients so that when they leave, they feel nice and confident um, utilizing their investment. Thanks again, guys. I hope you have a wonderful tanning season.